In today's video, I'm going to show you guys three different full-size wheelchair accessible vans. Now, we're just looking into these vans. We don't know that it's exactly possible yet, but of course, we would love to have one as it would give us more room to be able to take care of Braden and do the things we enjoy. This is a Ram Promaster with a 159-inch wheelbase and a conversion done by Temptist. It also has a raised roof, which gives you a really nice TV and a sunroof. And the Tempest conversion has lots of awesome features and upgrades. Of course, I don't be able to show you everything in this video. From the wheels and tires to the interior, everything is just done really nice. Uh, has a brawn ability lift, which has, I believe, a thousand pound capacity. And as you can see in the back, you still have tons of room for storage. And uh, you're able to store stuff under the seat with it laid down in the bed uh, position or upright. And uh, this van is also uh, capable of towing. Here we'll take a quick look at a Ford Transit that is a rear entry wheelchair accessible van. Now this van is a little bit more commercialized as it doesn't have kind of the bells and whistles that the uh, Temptus conversion on the Promaster has, but it's a much more affordable um, option and you can kind of see what it would look like to have the ramp in the back. One thing I did like is that these chairs are capable of being moved around. You can add, take away the chairs and they're very simple to move. Uh, we did drive this van and it drove nice except for the rattle of the ramp in the back which is just a little loud. And here we'll take a look at another Ram Promaster with the Tempest conversion. This is a little bit shorter version at 136 or 139 inch wheelbase. It also has a lower roof versus the raised roof that we saw earlier. And with the lower roof, you do get a flip down TV instead of that larger TV that you saw earlier. Still a very spacious van with a lot of awesome upgrades. And both of the Ram Promasters have the capability of the bench converting into a bed with just a push of a button, which was really convenient and awesome. And it still had all the same features inside, lots of really, really nice stuff that um, I don't quite get to show everything in this, but um, they're very, very nice vehicles. One option that we're currently discussing with the dealer is instead of using the lift that you'll see in this video, we would replace it with a UVL, which stands for under van lift. So instead of having the lift inside of the van, it would completely disappear after using it and go under the van. This would give us the ability to install a captain's chair so that Jace could sit next to Brayden while we're traveling down the road. Special thanks to Mobility Works here in Charleston for allowing us to come in and check out these different vans and for working with us. We've enjoyed working with them as we bought our previous van from them as well. Uh, certainly would love to get one of these larger vans for Braden one day, but we'll see how that goes. And I uh, hope this video helps you if you're in the market for a larger van. And if you have any questions, let us know. And as always, thanks for watching.